Hello everybody. Welcome to Great Learning. Up to 96% of the IT leaders believe that employees with cyber security certifications add value to their organization. A professional who has a cyber security certification has significantly higher salary when compared to the one who does not have any. Product these days are connected to the internet leading to higher risk for hacking. Thus the need of cyber security has increased. With the increase in the data produced our need for protection of devices and networks also increases. I am Tejasri and I will take you through all this course cyber security certifications that will get you hired. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video. Any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments let's have a look at the agenda for this entire course initially you'll learn about cyber security and its need next you'll get to know why there is so much of demand for cyber security professionals next the prerequisites for a cyber security professional we will discuss in detail about the different cyber security certifications that will get you hired at last we will also discuss about the most in demand jobs in cyber security Hope you all have a great time learning new things throughout this course. With no further delay, let's get into this course. The world we live in is network like a mesh including our finances, social profile and governmental infrastructure. Cyber security by default has become a necessity. Cyber security encompasses everything from protecting personal information to intellectual property from deliberate attempts of damage and theft. Risks are festering as the world leans more towards cloud services and global connectivity. For example, Facebook had a security breach where hundreds of millions of Facebook user records were exposed on Amazon cloud server. According to content delivery network provider Akamai, gaming industry has been the biggest victim of cyber attacks in the past couple of years. Now let's look at the definition of cyber security. Cyber security is a practice of protecting systems and networks from digital attacks. Need of cyber security. Few years back, firewall and antivirus softwares were used as security measures, but that is not the case now. We have stepped into a new phase in this digital world where cyber crimes are increasing rapidly with the advancement in technology. So cyber security plays a major role in securing data from data breaches in various organizations data breach is nothing but stealing information from an organization system without the consent of the owner hope you all have understood what is cyber security and the need of cyber security let's understand why there is so much of demand for cyber security professionals as the world is increasingly getting dependent on internet and mobile computing to perform various tasks there is sudden surge in the number of cyber threats according to a report published by cisco the demand for qualified candidates is increasing 85% of global it professionals believe that there is shortage of cyber security professionals demand versus supply numbers there is dearth in candidates with over millions of unfulfilled positions globally the demand is stationary but cyber security jobs are nearly taking 20% longer to fill when compared to other it roles the main reason for lack of candidates is pointed towards funding and investments forwarded by it companies training schools are lacking cyber security curriculum that can train students professionally on emerging technologies Cost is also another important barrier for students to opt in for this coursework. Organizations are not very much keen on investing in cyber security or hire freshers unless and until they have prior experience. Hope you all have understood why there is so much of demand for cyber security professionals. Prerequisites for a cyber security professional. Although there is no prescribed degree requirements for a cyber security job, 
Companies prefer cybersecurity candidate to have a bachelor's degree in computer science or any technical field. Having technical skills will be beneficial if you are trying to figure out to get a job in cybersecurity, especially if you want to land cybersecurity jobs in technical positions such as security engineer, penetration tester or cryptographer. Few prerequisites for a cybersecurity professional are mentioned here. Cyber security professional should have a basic understanding of mathematical concepts such as algebra, matrices, multivariable optimization and calculus. They should be proficient in programming languages such as Python, Java, PHP, C++, C hash and C. They should have prior knowledge about ITIL, COBIT and ISO frameworks. These are IT management frameworks. ITIL full form is Information Technology Infrastructure Library. COBIT full form is Control Objectives for Information and Related Technologies. ISO full form is International Organization for Standardization. They should also be familiar in using security information and event management software. It is a software used to identify and classify data for analysis within IT environment. Cyber security professionals should have CCNA security certification or CCIE certification. CCNA security certification is information technology certification offered by Cisco Systems. CCIE certification is technical certification offered by Cisco Systems. CCNA full form is Cisco Certified Network Associate. CCIE full form is Cisco Certified Internetwork Expert. Cyber security professionals should have prior knowledge about ethical hacking, threat modeling and secure coding practices. Hope you all have understood what are the different prerequisites required for a cyber security professional. Let's move on to the next topic. Now we are going to discuss about the most important topic in our course, cyber security certifications that will get you hired. There are many cyber security certifications, but we will be focusing on five major types of cyber security certifications. The first one is certified ethical hacker. The second one is certified information systems security professional. The third one is CompTIA security plus. The fourth one is certified in risk and information systems control. Last but not the least, the fifth one is Certified Information Security Manager. Let's see what are the certifications one by one. Certified Ethical Hacker or CEH. It is also known as Certified Network Defense Architect. This certification is for government employees and is obtained from the EC Council. What is EC Council? EC Council is a global leader in InfoSec Cyber Security Certification programs. EC full form is International Council of Electronic Commerce Consultants. This certification will help you master ethical hacking methodologies and various other aspects such as DOS, DDoS attacks, wireless encryption, network scanning, social engineering and many more. To pursue this certification, the candidate should have two years of working experience in IT industry and the candidate should also have Prayer Working Knowledge in TCP/IP. This certification will help you boost your skills to work as Advanced Threat Analyst, Information Security Assessor and Penetration Tester. Hope you all have understood what is Certified Ethical Hacker Certification. Let's move on to the next certification. Certified Information Systems Security Professional or CISSP. This certification is one among the top professional level cyber security certifications. This certification can be obtained from the International Information System Security Certification Consortium or also known as ISC Square. This certification covers topics such as vulnerability mitigation in web based systems, investigations, cryptography concepts and professional ethics. To take up this exam, the candidate should have a minimum of 5 years of industry experience. The candidate should know at least 2 out of 8 common body of knowledge domains. Common body of knowledge is a framework that includes techniques and skills that the cybersecurity professional should be familiar with. 
Some of the job roles that the candidate can work under are information security analyst, information security manager and chief information security officer. Hope you all have understood what is certified information system security professional certification. CompTIA Security Plus Certification This certification will provide you all the information required to plan, implement and maintain information security in a vendor neutral format. It includes host security, authentication, network security and organizational security. This certification is the minimum requirement for any IT security position that is above an entry level job. To pass the Security Plus certification, you will need to know about identity and access management, threats, attacks, vulnerabilities, network architecture and design, cryptography and risk management. Some of the job roles that the candidate can work under are Cyber Security Analyst, Security Engineer and Security Consultant. Hope you all have understood what is CompTIA Security Plus certification. Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control or CRISE. Technology, although its risk may vary with its role, it has evolved to be an agent of innovation. It is one of the most crucial risk factors and thus risk assessment has become essential. This certification was introduced in the year 2010 and since then more than 20,000 professionals worldwide have taken it up. This certification focuses on mitigating risk across your business process. Typical IT education does not include any information regarding this. So professionals do not have adequate knowledge regarding risk control measures. With the help of this certification, employees can give valuable inputs regarding risk management to their organization. Hope you all have understood what is CRISE certification. Certified Information Security Manager or CISM. This certification is considered to be one of the best cyber security certifications. To apply for this certification, the candidate should have a minimum of 5 years of industry experience. The certification was introduced in the year 2002 and since then over 30,000 professionals worldwide have taken it up. This certification focuses on 4 major areas of cyber security. First one is Information Security Program Development and Management. Second one is Information Security Management. The third one is Information Security Incident Management. Last but not the least, the fourth one is Information Risk Management and Compliance. Acquiring this certification calls rigorous hard work, time and effort, but the results are worth the effort. IT professionals who are interested in managing enterprise information security can take up this certification. Hope you all have understood what is CISM certification. Cyber security is a domain with high priority regardless of the industry leading to a significant rise in the number of job opportunities in the recent years. However, the skill cap is quite high with steady increase in the number of job opportunities. So, with proper upskilling, young professionals can find themselves meet the market requirements and find themselves with lucrative career opportunities. Let's see what are the most in-demand jobs in cybersecurity. Information Security Analyst Information Security Analysts monitor and examine security systems for organization to prevent security breaches. Ethical Hacker Ethical hacking is a legal activity for checking company security strength. Ethical hackers find different ways to break into a security infrastructure to find system vulnerabilities and ways of improving those. Digital Forensic Analyst Digital Forensic Analysts retrieve digital evidence from various devices that have been compromised or has been used in cyber crimes. Security Architect Security architect is a person who designs, builds and maintains security infrastructure for any kind of data and information in a company. Network engineer. Network engineers work on designing and maintaining digital networks used by the hiring organization. Security software developer. Security software developers integrate reliable security practices used for developing the software to ensure that they are robust and effective. Chief Information Security Officer 
This is a senior level position for security experts who oversee all kind of data and information security activities for an organization. Hope you all got to know what are the most in demand jobs in cyber security. Hooray! We have come towards the end of this course. It's time for you all to recollect whatever you have learned throughout this course. Initially you all learned about cyber security and its need. Then you all got to know why there is so much of demand for cyber security professionals. You all understood what are the prerequisites required for a cyber security professional. Then you all got to know about the cyber security certifications that will get you hired. We discussed about five major cyber security certifications. They are CEH certification, CISSP certification, CompTIA Security Plus certification, CRISC certification and CISM certification. We also discussed about the most in demand jobs in cyber security. Hope the entire course was interesting and useful to all of you. Thank you all. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video. Any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments.